here in the outskirts of the southeastern part of uh, Chillicothe at beautiful Schaefer Park where a real happening uh, has been going on for quite some time here this afternoon and will continue into the evening hours and then on to the Freedom Festival at Simpson Park. Uh, we're glad to be joined today by Carl Seiter, uh, who is the uh, general manager. He's U.S. Army Ranger, U uh, general manager of the U.S. Military All-Stars. Did I do that right, Carl? Uh, yes, you did, I got sir. close. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having us out here at, uh, in Chillicothe, Mayor. And it's a beautiful Schaefer Memorial Ballpark and a great day so far since we've been here in Chillicothe. You know, I, I know you guys travel so much and do so much uh, for our veterans. And, and I've watched the veterans come in in their caps and their shirts and their uniforms and the people in their patriotic outfits today. And, and uh, I think it's so great. I, it was really kind of goosebumpy uh, uh, this morning on Thursday morning, the 4th of July, when you came through town with the escort. And here on the uh, uh, top of the aerial fire truck, a big American flag across US 65. Yes, sir. That was just a great, great humbling experience you guys did when you escorted us through town and let us beep our horn and just have a good time. And so far, it's just been amazing. One of, one of the best experience I've had and our team's had so far. Well, I know you do about uh, 350 maybe plus performances during the year. You play in all kinds of ballparks and all kinds of facilities. And uh, it's, it's a real challenge for you guys. I mean, playing St. Joe on Wednesday night, playing in Chillicothe. I think you go back to Kansas on uh, Friday, don't you? Uh, yes, sir. We're in Topeka, Kansas on Friday. And it's, you just need a lot of pitching and a lot of bulldogs. Uh, and uh, let, let's uh, just uh, cover the, the touring group. Uh, is it uh, a group of 25, uh, not counting the, uh, the manager or general manager? Or uh, how many players do you actively carry and that, that participate? I try to carry between 25 and 30, but we go through 150 a year. Some guys come out for a day, some guys come out for a week, a month, or however long they can get away from their command, either a personal leave or non-permissive TDY. Well, you know, I think it's fantastic that as I look at the front of the bus and read the red, white, and blue tour, that things like this can continue to happen because I just heard yesterday on the national news of a number of fireworks shows and those that were put on by the federal and state government had been canceled, and that's kind of sad. Yes, it is. Uh, good thing for us, we're a self-funded nonprofit organization, so we rely on, on local people to see our, see our ceremony, see our events, and enjoy what we have going on. And that, that keeps us moving along and bringing patriotism back to the country like it, like it has been these last 12 years. So you've traveled, if I remember right, and correct me if I'm wrong here, to every state in the United States and also to some foreign countries, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. We, we usually do a year, we usually do 48 states and six countries. Some years it's, we get 50 in and 12 countries, depending on who wants us to come and how we can fund it. So playing 350 games, uh, there's not many days off unless you get rained out. No, sir. Sometimes we come in the morning, we play the first responders in softball, play a local church in the afternoon, and play a baseball game at night. Oh, so, wow. So we just keep it going. I did not know all of that uh, happened. So it's more than just baseball, right? Yes, sir. We, we enjoy uh, If you, Whoever you ask out there in the field, they're gonna, you, yeah. you ask them, do you enjoy playing baseball more or honoring the veterans more? And, I guarantee you every one of them would say I, I enjoy honor veterans more. And you know, this is the uh, veterans of Afghanistan and Iraq and so also some first responders. And I know that you do a, a tremendous pregame ceremony uh, that really involves the crowd and I guess is choreographed and really, really neat. Can you tell us just a little bit about that 30 minute ceremony? It's, uh, we start off with the bugle call and we just roll in the passing of the flag, honoring our veteran, our local VIP for tonight. And we honor him and try to make him feel as great as he want, as he can be and for what he has done for this country. Well, I want to personally thank all of the sponsors that have been involved beyond Grand River Entertainment and the Chillicothe Mudcats. The National Guard's done a whale of a, a job bringing their equipment out here, setting up a couple of tents, and uh, Trent and Coca-Cola furnishing uh, hot dogs and, and, and water and the National Guard here to cook it and serve it. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's another one of those things that's called teamwork that gets something done. Yes, sir. That, the Trenton Coca-Cola gave us a very good meal today at the Royal Inn Pizza, Pizza Restaurant. 
and it's just, it's just been great since we've been here. It's a beautiful scenery, beautiful atmosphere, beautiful evening to play baseball. And uh, I, I also want to get a plug in. You're staying at Days Inn, and they're going to have breakfast for you in the morning before you uh, take off. I wish your guys and you had had time to go buy our brand new water park just opened three weeks ago. Four point two million dollar water park's pretty good for a town of ten thousand. <laughs> I saw that we drove by it. The guys wanted to stop, but we <laughs> didn't have the <laughs> time. I can't blame them. Uh, they have a lot of fun, but uh, uh, we we have a lot of nice facilities and. And we're always glad to have people like you and, and the U.S. Military All-Stars uh, come to our town. And, and I just want to wish you the best of luck uh, the rest of the uh, year and uh, congratulate you on the job that you and, and your military uh, cohorts uh, do for our veterans of the country. Mayor, thank you very much and thank you for having us here in Chill Chillicothe, Missouri.